Greetings and salutations. Ben here, you there. This is a Gorilla Guitar Demo from Long and McQuaid, Belleville, Ontario location. I don't work for them. They don't work for me. They just let me use their gear. So if you have complaints about the company, address them to them. If you have complaints about me, say them. I'm just kidding. Please like and subscribe. We got, oh, we got a special one here. Look at this. You're like, oh, it's got you know, somebody. No, no. Oh, okay. Oh, can, can, can we see the sparkle? Oh. Miss that sparkle! Oh, all the sparkle. Well, what we got, and by, yeah, rainbow sparkle, really, if you look at it. What, it. what it is, is, and we will show it up again. A Fender 70th anniversary. I heard they had a happy anniversary. Uh, player Strat Nebula. Noir. 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 Like film noir. Nebula. So black Nebula. Nebula Noir. Limited edition Nebula Noir. Metal flake finish. With an exclamation mark. Finish! All right. Alder body, rosewood fretboard, nice. Modern C-shaped neck with nine and a half inch radius, which you've been using since the 80s, so why even mention it? Engraved 70s neck plate, or 70th anniversary neck plate. Yep, there it is. 54 to 24. And this was made in 2023, of course. Right, because you got to get them made before you can ship them. Uh, gig bag included. Pure vintage 59 pickups. Well... Replica, they're not real, right? Uh, thirteen seventy nine ninety nine is the price tag on it. Looks like a tinted. I don't know if that's roasted, but she's tinted, and she feels nice. It's got that satiny finish. Oh, slab rosewood. It's not. I learned about that. I watched the video. It's not the veneer. It's. You can tell, like, if it follows the radius, that's the veneer. But if it goes straight, if the cut between the two is straight, that's more the slab style. Two-point trim, but with the vintage saddles. Um, does need a setup. Imagine that. Lack of QA in the fender department. Let's get that out of the way anyway. So, uh, playing through a Fender Princeton amp, and we got an LPD Dutch on the floor. Starting in... What Leo would call the fifth position, but I call the first position, which is the neck position. Wow, very low input. I just demoed Les Paul and I had to turn up the amp from two to three. Oh yeah, it's got those. The frets look chromy on top, but the last couple, if I'm looking at the side, I don't know if that's just, oh, it looks like brass. A fella, I feel like it. Well, you can kind of, yeah, you can't really tell, anyways. Strats don't like the two. See? Fifth fret, they don't intonate as well as they used to. Maybe it's just, yeah, the neck pickup for some reason. That's on several strat shaped objects. I've come across that lately. I don't know. Let's go to, uh, well, according to Leo, position four, but two for me. <laughs> See how high. Yeah, it's too high there too. 70th anniversary strap, but expect to spend money to get your nut cut because Fender 
You have no QA. <laughs> before you shove them fender. paint job need some QA fender just saying cut a knot sell more guitars because if it ain't playable a lot of people are gonna put it back on the rack and walk away pick up something that does have a good cut nut and they'll buy that one so there we are that's my rant I've been Ben you've been you again if you're watching to this point please subscribe comment down below your favorite sparkle thing in the world is mine's this for today I love that sparkle Oh, yeah, and did we mention the perloid pickguard? No, because it's blowing it there. Yeah, like a matching. Yeah, there you go. Cheers, folks. Have a good one.